Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Betrayal at Crondor, and when last we left off, Owen's got the band back together, and he's doing a grand tour of the entire kingdom. Unfortunately, there are people who don't like his music, and they've decided to tell him, violently, with swords and crossbows and spells. Fortunately, the band are pretty good at defending their music and their lives, and so the music goes on. Okay, that's not what's actually happening. What's actually happening is we're meant to be going to Romney. But I've decided to go and get Owen some money by performing in all the taverns that we've been to previously. And encounters appear to have reappeared. Which is actually good for us because James really needs the experience. Unfortunately, there isn't a place that we can go and sell all of our stuff that is nearby. If we head up, there is Zun and Lamut. And there is Rygate Supply nearby, but that doesn't take weapons and armor. We're gonna have to go back to Quester's View. Fortunately, Quester's View is not that far away, and the bodies are not far off the road, so no! There is also this person here that we haven't spoken to this chapter. I wonder if there's different dialogue. Have you seen my gold? asked the man at the door. I'm afraid we haven't, said James. Aren't you Chanty the Fisherman? he questioned. Yes, but I didn't mean to do it, he replied wildly. I was looking for my gold, and I didn't know it was still... alive, he shivered involuntarily. James looked at Owen, then continued, playing along, though he wasn't sure what the man was talking about. But what did you do? Why didn't you tell us about it? Shaking harder, Shanty said, it, it was a black thing. I dug and dug, then it grabbed my arm and I pulled away, but it wouldn't let go, and then it clawed its way out, and it talked to me. The demon thing spoke to me and, and thanked me for letting it go. He stopped, nearly in tears. It even gave me a reward. It gave me passwords for the couple of the fairy chests, said they were eyes and ring. Unable to control his fear any longer, he retreated into his house, slamming the door. Well, that's interesting. The door remained closed. Go away, shouted a voice from inside. Just leave me alone. James shrugged his shoulders and motioned for them to continue. Are you referring to this? James looked at the mound of dirt. He bent down and examined it more closely, then stood, a disgusted look on his face. Someone has clawed this grave open. They didn't use tools. It would appear they dug it open with their bare hands. A wild animal, perhaps. Hungry wolves have been known to dig at shallow graves if the scent is strong enough. No, I'm afraid not. There's some dried blood in the dirt, and I found several human fingernails. No doubt lost as someone dug frantically at the, gro at the hard ground. Whoa! Was that something I could have potentially dealt with in Chapter 1 by digging there? It could have been. But I didn't, so... Oops. Well, that's a little something I missed. But we did get dialogue for it, so... That makes it worth it, maybe? Okay, it is getting dark. And we're right by... Quester's view. But we're unlikely to be able to do any buying and selling here while it is dark. So, let us just, uh... Make a day, and there is the store. Hello! Hello, Pierce Perry's weapons. I have thingamies for you. What thingamies? This, that's not worth a lot, but it's better than not selling it at all. It certainly pays for all the rations that we spent getting here. Right, let's also do that. And this. Also, while I'm thinking about it, uh, let's share out a couple of rations. You can have two, and you can have two. I think you need two. No, you actually need um, one more each. Ooh, getting dangerously close to actually having a more an extra inventory space. What a time to be alive. Also, we have way too many of these, don't we? Actually, you're not holding on to an armorous hammer. Maybe I don't have many of these. There we go. Now you have 22, 19, and if I have you hold on to a restorative, like that, 
now you have a nice amount of inventory. That will soon be totally scuppered by me using that ration, but hey. Now, is there anything here I really want? There is this armor. I keep thinking about this armor, like the the grey tower plate would be pretty good, but we could always come and get some of that late. I think for now we're alright. So let us just uh, exit out and uh, I could have haggled. Why did I not haggle? I'll tell you why I didn't haggle, because this person here doesn't need to haggle. So that's why I didn't haggle. I really should have haggled. I mean, you desperately, that is barding, not haggling. You desperately need, ooh, your defense went up. Neat. I uh, forgot about that. We desperately need to get some haggling done. What am I doing, just going past stores and not haggling? What's the world come to? Remember when a lamprey was a thing that I was really happy to have? It's like, ooh, a lamprey. And then we switch to super powerful weapons. Maybe at some point I can get those weapons blessed. That would be nice. Someone has mentioned that you can get them more permanently blessed, and uh, I'm looking forward to that opportunity. Whether it will come anytime soon is another question, and I do doubt it. That's one of the reasons I'm kind of saving my coin, because I don't know how costly that is. I don't know how costly anything is. Okay, just... There. Totally refu- there we go, I was about to say, you're totally refusing to take those arrows off the table. I mean, how cheap can I get this? Okay, I can't get that any cheaper. Or that. That I can shave off nearly a third of the price if I want to. And that would make it a thousand five hundred to get three of them? I feel like I'm going to get some later. I feel like armor isn't something that I desperately need right now, but it probably is. Like, armor would mean we don't get hit as much, and... or rather hit as hard, and that would be good, but... Knowing me, I'll need my money for something else. Also, haggling improvements. There you go, James. You may not be gaining stats in important stuff, but you're totally gaining... Haggling. And Gorath is fast approaching the 100% Haggling Club. Right. Let us make our way back north, because we have some stuff to get. It's actually not that far away, is it? It's really not. Uh, was it here? No. Where was it? I feel like it was here. Around here? Unless the bodies have already vanished, which they might have done. No, I'm just not far enough. I'm just not far enough. Never mind. I was like, I, I've, I've lost them. And it's like, no, no, that is the, uh, the little diversion for uh, Rygate Supply. Takes a whole day to get to the, uh, to the bodies. A whole day. At least this gives Gorath, uh, and, uh, everyone else opportunities to heal. Right. Bodies are here. Okay. Any stat improvements? No. Also, you actually have, uh, a lower max stamina than Owen. Not lower max health, though. That makes sense. Right. What do we have? We have all of this that we can absolutely work on. Let's get that a weapon crafting ready. Gotta get this to 100 as quickly as possible. There we go. You can hold on to the sword and the armor. Remember when I said that uh, he wasn't carrying an armorous hammer? That's clearly a lie. He was. Okay, you are carrying everything you can. Okay, you... A sword, and some armor, and we can fill up, uh, fill up James's inventory with sword. There we go. Every little bit of money does help. All of this stuff pays for future thingamies. It all does. And besides, it makes it... Okay, you're carrying three armor as hammers. I should stop buying armor as hammers. I feel like buying armorers' hammers are a mistake. Also, I I 
don't know if we'll actually have room for all the stuff. Oh my, we are. We are not going to have room for all the stuff, are we? We're not going to have room for it all. But we're actually... We're actually completely out of space. Like, you don't have room. You have room for arrows. That's all you have room for. That's all you have room for. We... We need to go back to Quester's view. Meow. At least it's quick. Okay. That did not take us long this time. Did not take us long. But it is getting dark. Okay. More stuff to sell. Armor. 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 Weapon. Weapon. Okay. Seems good. Half tempted to sell you an armorer's hammer. You would take it. But I think I'll just, uh... I'll just keep the ones I have on me. Also, while I'm thinking about it, um... We need to split out some more rations. Because we've used another day's worth of rations. All the little bits of micromanagement. Slowly but surely, we're going through all these rations, though. These extra rations have proven to be very useful. Very useful. Now, in theory, I should just keep going until the game tells me I'm tired. But on the other hand, I can't see anything. So, I'm gonna rest. Like, it's dark. The screen will be completely black. Let's just keep going. Now, is there still stuff on these bodies? I bet there still is. Okay. Uh, there's that sword. You can carry the sword. And... Double checking. Nothing on you. Nothing on you. Stuff on you. You can carry that. And you can carry this. Okay. Weapon craft first. On the sword. And then armor craft on the armor. You are at 86% armor crafting. Ding, ding, ding. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, hang on. Ding, ding, ding. To 98. Uh, can you carry... You can carry another suit of armor. Good. Uh, ding, ding, ding. To 98 again. And then... Ding, ding, ding. To 99. Ooh, actually a little better than what we're currently wearing. And that got you a, uh, armor crafting improvement. You know what, actually, while I'm thinking about it? Sharpen these two. Get that to 99. And get this to 99. Marvelous. Okay, do we want to go back or forward? Actually, we probably want to go back. Because if we don't go back, we might not have room for the next encounter that appears. And knowing me, there's going to be another encounter. There probably is. It's getting dark. Again. It's, it's getting real dark. Okay, don't cast a spell. Just rest until morning. And split up these rations some more. Um, I want you to give two there. And two there. Holding on to all these rations has definitely been worth it. Definitely been worth it. Okay, we're back uh, once more with with loot to sell. I mean, we're not going to get the best value for it, but still going to be worth it. Hi! Got the stuff. What stuff? The stuff. Like this sword. And this armor. And this... And that. Now we can carry on our merry, merry way. Also, can I stack these ropes? I actually can stack those ropes. Okay, that is some... Oh, also, sell the arrows. Don't need them. We've actually saved a whole inventory space, which means you can carry a whole extra thing. And that's amazing. Okay, back we go. Meow. And I know you don't have to do all this stuff. 
Like, the game is balanced in such a way that you don't have to go and, uh, like, sell every single item. But I am selling every single item, because it's good for my money. Okay, here were a bunch of, uh, boxes and stuff I don't need. So we're just gonna rest like that. It's gonna get to morning now. And we're probably gonna get attacked by an ambush of some variety. No? I'm half expecting it. The road was littered with rocks. Yep, let's risk it. And head closer to Zun. Okay, it's time to save. So Zun, Lamut, all that, good place to be. Remove this uh, save file, make a new one. Also, we have the Mac Mordain Kadal that we want to go check out because there is a chest that hopefully will have some good stuff. Okay, Zun. Don't remember if Zun has a tavern or not. Abandoned. Doesn't seem anyone's about. One of these, I think, is a tavern. Either the occupants slipped out, they're ignoring us, or they're stone dead sleepers. Whatever the case may be, we'd probably have better luck if we moved on. Tavern? Ah, yes, it's the one where you can't, uh, bard. No one... James pounded on the door, no one answered. Resigned that the drunk wasn't going to face them down in a fair fight. He shrugged and turned us back. I don't guess he's going to answer it now, he said, touching a tender spot in his head. Let's go on. Hey, you were the one hit by the, uh, bottle. It was Locklear. Why do you have a bump on your head from that? I have... Hi! That's an attack, right there. A sneaky, sneaky attack. How you doing, enemies? Excellent! Whoa, there's five of them! Hi! How are you? Um, I'll tell you how you're gonna be. Attacked! Or not! Okay, we have an opportunity here to cast a couple of spells. And I think we shall. You know what? We need to give, uh... Where is it? Skin of the Dragon! Let's cast that on you. Now you are super strong! And Gorath can just focus on hacking and slashing here. I think you shall be alright now. You hit and yet you didn't hit. I like that. That's one down. Miss- oh, 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 no. I'm sorry, you think you're running? No, where's invitation? Come back to us. Specifically, come back to me. Meanwhile, at the... You're really trying to, uh, get away, but you're not gonna get away. Ooh, wisely you're going after the wizard. A little late. A little late. You probably should have been going after the wizard quite a while ago. Ooh, stealth went... Lots of stuff just went up. Look at all of those improvements. You focus on your defense. We're gonna deal with this enemy. Or we're not. Ooh. I had you defending there. And you still perished. Or rather, your health perished. You didn't perish, you're still here. I don't know what I'm saying. Words. Words. Okay, I want you to do that. You're gonna hack at thee. You're gonna... We're just gonna heal a bit. We should be all right. In fact, we're absolutely all right right now. Ah, you just undid everything I was uh, working for there. Okay, now we finish you off. Or we don't. Or you try and run. You should have tried to have ran a couple of rounds ago. Hardy's abilities have increased, and that they have. I mean, you didn't gain any more defense, but you gained stealth, health, and stamina, and you gained accuracy, melee, health, and stamina. I'm gonna take that as a huge gain. Huge. Also, bodies. 
bodies with tiny amounts of money on them, and weapons. There's a bow. There's also a whetstone. I'm not picking that up. I think I'll pick everything else up in due time. Also, is there another body there? I thought there were five. Maybe the fifth body's hidden behind one of the others. And so, when we come back, folks, we are close to Zun. We are very close to Zun. We can probably backtrack to Zun and sell all of this stuff. Or, we can just go forward to Lamut and sell it there. Either way, we're close to places we need to be. Well, we don't need to be here, but we're going to be here because there is that chest full of loot in the Macmordain Kadal. And I want to get that loot. If it's still there. It's probably still there. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.